and from first to last there are very very big intervals way they've given too much rope here to the leaders captured the drama and all class heading towards the last on the far side five from the finish Cap turning into the straight to the final two fences Jimney's Island has moved into third on the outside of Brandy Harbour and after them four country roads go all the way and turn down the volume but all class has easily raced away from Capture the Drama. They've been the main two in it throughout, coming to the second last. All Class pops it way out in front of Capture the Drama. Brandy Harbour is getting going when it's way too late, and then Jim Lee's Island. This has been a very odd race, coming out of the final fence, and All Class has just got to pop it for Donnermiler at the last safely over from capture the drama brandy harbor and then jim lee's island and up towards the finish they're spaced out the length of the home straight all class is winning a hard hell ease down that's many congratulations case of gamble landed to be fair money came just before the off and this Phillies bolted up Ah, oh, yeah, Kevin, I don't know if it was a massive gambler or not there. We, we had a few quid on, but it was not unsubstantial. I think the bookies run for cover with any my horses these days, so I wouldn't read in too much into gambles uh, uh, with my horses. You can't blame them, though, because when money does come for you, you rarely get them wrong. Yeah, yeah, look, I share, we've, we've had a moderate all year there from last January with a good run until then, and, and this girl was very good today. Look, chasing was a bit of an unknown in her beginner's chases there. She was putting holes in fences and landing on top of them. And in her handicapped debut over fence, she fell. So it was just about getting around today. I think uh, it was a bit of a force for a race, Kevin, today. So it was. So it's hard to read into what we actually achieved. Well, it is, because only two of you ever got involved. Yeah, well, that's it there. So I just hope that, that the handicap were probably that and go crazy because all they've beat is a, a, you know, a 13 year old that sort of probably went a wee bit quick today. So we're just hoping there were. We're, uh, we don't get crucified. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even keep a straight face then. Uh, oh, look at, uh, look at she got right. £15 the last day for winning by half a length of Slago. And uh, so just look at hopefully there we get a chance there. She after that. But that was very good. She jumped impeccably. She's probably running a wee bit keen all the way. And uh, Dona was delighted there. Dona's going to probably ride all my horses now for the foreseeable future. And uh, it's a great start for him, so it is. Yeah, her, ju her jumping had been diabolical, to be honest there. And sort of uh, tweaked a few things. She was in David Dunn previously he got a jump really well to be fair and uh, touch wood now she looks like uh, she'll maybe go forward from here and landed up is holds an entry across the water is it Carlisle and Sunday uh, and the hurdle yeah 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 she'll uh, no look at I'll not be rushing her out I wouldn't imagine there so uh, just hopefully now I get the yarn to the handicapper hopefully he doesn't uh, he's not going to put her up too much I don't think she's a filly wants race too much too quick well done thanks Ron. thanks